Hong started cycling along the same time, sorry, at the same time along our 6, uh, 6 5 km train. They did not change their speed. Steven cycled at the speed of 30 meters per minute faster than Tom. Which means that every single minute, right, Steven should be 30 meters ahead of Tom. And then more. And then 60, 90, 120. When he reached the end of the track, Tom was 600 meters behind him. So let's just go ahead and draw the distance for him. Let's just call this the. I'm going to stretch out the circular track right into one line. Okay, sorry. Uh, this is 1.5 km track into this. Okay, so we know that Steven and then Tom. When Steven reached the end, Tom was 600 kilometers. Sorry, 600 meters behind him. So which means that from here to here is 600 meters. This one is Tom. Okay, and the entire thing here is six. 6.5 km. 6.5 km converted to meters. So you have to multiply by 1000, right? If you multiply by 1000, it will become 6500 meters. Okay? So we know that Tom actually traveled only what? 600, 6500 minus 600, 6500 minus 600. That will give us 5900. Tom only traveled, cycled 5900 meters. Okay? But we know that for Steven to be 600 meters ahead, right? How long did he need to travel 600 meters ahead of Tom? We know that his speed is 30 meters per minute faster than Tom. Every single minute, right, he will travel 30 meters more than Tom. Now, at the end, right, he travels 600 meters more than Tom. The question is, how long did he take to travel 600 meters more than Tom? We just take 600 divided by 30. Here, this will give us 20 minutes. Which means that Steven took 20 minutes to travel 600 meters more than Tom. So this entire journey is 20 minutes. And then for Tom, this entire journey is 20 minutes. So I'm going to find Tom's cycling speed. Okay, so Tom's cycling speed, right, you just take the distance divided by time. So if you take 5900 0, 0, divided by 20, that will give you 295. Okay, and this will be meters per minute. So Tom actually uh, cycled at this speed. If you take the total distance divided by the time. So remember, uh, Stephen traveled 30 meters per minute more than Tom. Okay, in every single minute, he'll be 30 meters ahead. Sorry, 30 meters ahead. So for him to be 600 meters ahead, right, you take 600 divided by 30 meters to be 20 meters. Okay, 20 minutes, sorry. So Stephen took 20 minutes to travel 600 meters more than Tom. Okay, simultaneously, it's the same for Tom. Tom also took 20 minutes to travel 5,900 meters. Okay? So you take 5,900 divided by the 20 minutes, you get this speed, which is the cycling speed. Alright, done.